All right, so in this video of Revisto, we are going to talk about how to use the ruler tool. Okay, so you can find the ruler tool in 3D environment, 3D tab, and um, issue tracker. So you can also see there the ruler. Okay, so the shortcut for ruler is Control M. Okay, so let's do some uh, measurement here. So I'm just going to zoom in here. Okay, so let's say, for example, I want to measure the distance from this slab here up to here. So I'm going to click the ruler. So let's click that one. And then we have several options here. So we have laser ranger. So we have point to point, minimum, uh, elevation, and then slope. Okay, slope. So I'm going to click this one first, laser ranger. Okay. So I'm just going to double click this floor here and there you go. So there's now your measurement there. Okay, so I can also zoom in and then I can also double click and I can see there the distance. So I can also click this surface here and then it will show me the distance. So just make sure that if you're going to click this surface, for example, so there is an opposite surface here because if there's none so there's no measurement so like for example if i'm going to uh, double click this uh, face here so if i double click that you see it's just like that so it needs to have an office uh, opposite face like for example this one i double click and there you go so that's the distance so that's how you use your laser ranger all right so now the next tool that we will be using here is point to point so if I click point to point, you can see here on the right side, so there's an option wherein you can toggle this one. Uh, it can be regular, it can be perpendicular, and it can be uh, parallel, okay? So if I make that regular, so let's say I want this first point to be here. So I'm just going to double click. There you go. And then I'm going to point to this surface here. So that's my second point. So that's the distance, right? So let's say uh, from here to here, just double click, and then you will now see the distance. Now, if you want that to be perpendicular, if you click this information icon here, it says to measure perpendicular to the surface, drag the middle handle, which is this one, to that surface. So let's say I want this middle handle to be here to measure it perpendicularly. Okay, so I'm going to drag that and then put that to that surface. And as you can see, there's now the distance perpendicularly, right? So, and it also changed this one to perpendicular automatically, okay? So let's say here's my first point. I'll double click that. And then um, here's my second point here, double click. And then the middle handle, this one, so I'm going to Place that to that surface there, and there you go. So there's your measurement. Okay, you can make that to parallel as well. So I click this, and then let's say I want uh, this this point here. Double click. There you go. So parallel, and then you you drag that like that. The middle handle. So that's parallel distance. Okay. So let's say um, this point here, I'll double click. And then I'll double click this one as well. There you go. So there's the parallel uh, distance. Okay. So I can also drag that, that face there. So that's the distance there. Okay. So you have three options here. So regular, wherein you can just pick uh, two points will measure and then the other ones here are parallel and perpendicular now so the next tool here is minimal distance between two objects okay so let's say for example I want to measure the distance of this uh, beam here up to here so I'll just need to click that and then I'm going to click this one as well and automatically uh, Revisto will measure the minimum uh, distance between these two beam here so if i'm going to use here the laser ranger so we 
should be having the same distance 6915 so let's see double click here there you go see so it's 6915 so if i try here uh perpendicular so i double click that face double click that face you see so it's um 69152 okay so let's say you want to measure the distance minimum distance from this beam here to this slab so i click minimum minimal distance so click the beam and then i click the slab so that's the distance so that's the minimal distance and then the other one here is uh, elevation so if you just want to check the elevation of your uh, slab for example or any other element even dock or or floor okay so you just need to click so i'll click this one and then you see there's the just double click and then you can see the elevation right okay so let's say this one here just double click so you can see the elevation double click and double click okay so you can see here the value the z value so double click there you go double click there you go and then the other one here is for checking if there is a slope in uh, the slope on the pipe let's say for example the pipe so you can use that tool there so let me see if I, I can oh this one has a slope there so 6 over uh, 1000 so rise over 1000 so if you look here at the right side so you can also specify here other types of uh, uh, units so like one is to ratio like that double click okay so you'll be able to see there the one is to ratio type so or degrees there you go so 0.33 okay so you can also do this on your pipe okay so basically that's how you use this uh, measure tools here okay so we have the laser ranger so we have point to point minimal distance and then elevation and then the other one is slope okay so hopefully you learned something from this video thank you for watching guys have a nice day